Hey guys, I'm back. I put the items in a jar to make it easier for me. The rest of what was left of that first lot. This one's in there. A Patriot Bell. It's still in the package. I'm going to leave it in the package. And here we start now. We have a nice bracelet here. Clamper style. Gold tone. Kind of looks like it's supposed to be lined up like that, but it works good. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's very pretty. I think I look better that way. How it, you know, and, and it grooves into the, all those. Oh, your nails know, are dirty again. Better, I guess. But this is very pretty. I'll wear it for now. How oh, cool these are earrings. I didn't know what these were. Somebody made them. Post earrings. But you can see a lot of glue here. So that's why I knew somebody made them. <coughs> but they're pretty. You can wear them like this probably. Or oh, actually they look kind of like a spade if you wear it like that. Or a club I mean. I guess it's whatever you see when you look at it. This is a, oh, not stretch. Is it a stretch? Oh, it is a stretch. Very tight stretch. <laughs> oh, I love this bead. But yeah, it's a very tight stretch. I can barely pull it apart. It's got dyed shell here, looks like. These are dyed shell. Glass, glass. Dyed shell here, dyed shell here, and some crystal around. I guess they want this to be the main piece because they only put the two crystals. I think these are prettier than that bead. That's a pretty bead, but not prettier than that. I'll put it over here. Ooh, a ring. Oh, I got that big ring on yesterday. The big purple one turned my whole area green there, so I took it off. That doesn't fit. So I need to put clear fingernail polish in there or something. This is a beautiful ring. I think all the stones are there too. It's got the vertical emerald cut and then the circles. The small, small ones. Isn't that beautiful? It doesn't go all the way around. Looks like it does, but no. I like that. I wish it fit me. I fit my pinky. It's too big for a pinky, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me what you think. Is this too big for a pinky or not? Oh, I thought this was lamb by itself. This is a big, heavy piece of jewelry. That is a cool piece. You see that? It's got like uh, crevices everywhere. I'll look at this first and then I'll hold it up again. Plastic, most of the pieces are plastic. The chain's metal. I don't know, you're like, of course the chain's metal, but that's not true. Sometimes the chains are plastic. Or tin. But look at that. It's gorgeous. I've never seen, I've seen round beads like this, but never a cut piece. It has a tag on it. It says, just N. So it's not New York. It's just a giant N. No NY. N, huh? I just like that. I like that beat a lot. Oh, what's this one? Oh, no, this is cool, too. It's glass. This one's glass. And it has the red glass, but it also has the gold or the copper color on it. I think the rest are plastic now. Yeah, the rest are plastic. So we have a glass one here, at least it feels like glass, and then this, I don't know, I guess it's acrylic? It's got like a bark to it, but that was handmade, or it doesn't look, it's not real bark, put it that way, it's just a texture of a bark, that makes sense to you. Oh, here's a pretty bracelet, oh it's got some broken pieces. 
So this will go into craft. It's really pretty though. And it's a good design. I don't know if I can save it. There's a broken piece on this level. Maybe that's it, just on that one level. So maybe I can cut here and just make it this part. That'd just be the bottom. We'll see. Bracelet, we'll actually craft over there. Ooh, another ring. Oh, I think I have this ring. Somewhere, or one like it. It's not a, uh, adjustable, so. If, and I have a ring sizer, so I can't tell you what size the rings are. Sorry. <laughs> I d oh, and this is different, isn't it? I don't know if it's a stackable ring or it's just off center. It's an adjustable one. So this would it fit would fit my finger if I stretched it out far enough. But I think that's a mistake. I don't think they did that on purpose. We have this one from yesterday, so this is the double of that. So we have a pair. Earrings up there. I didn't bring the earrings out that I had from yesterday. This is pretty. Can't tell if the front beads are in there. There's no maker mark on this one. It's got some... This one's kind of messed up. Like somebody squished it. And this one too. Or, no, this one, yeah. Same thing. Oh, it looks like it was driven over or something. But these are really cool. You can always take this one, this part with the beads. The, which are glass, I believe. They're heavy. And then... Just to replace this part with chain, since there's no maker mark anyway. It's not like you'd be destroying anything. And it would make it your own. You can even get colored chain, like a orange or yellow. Or you can just use beads. Little glass seed beads. This one's got, like, glitter in it. But I like how they... Whoever wire wrapped these did an awesome job. What they did was, I think... Is they made a giant coil and then they separated it in the center, which is what you do to make bead cages. But then there's this extra wire on the other side, so I don't know. It's different. Oh, I see. This one goes around to the top here, and that one goes under. I still don't get it. That's pretty. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out. When I used to wrap wires, I mean, wrap beads to make. Beat cages, that's how I did it. You make the coil first, and then you open it. I think these are plastic, but they... They're not cold, but I love these beads. I just think anything on anything with these on them are just cool. And, I'll, of course, I love crystals. Feels like glass, but it's not cold. And you got a Roy, a Roy Borealis and just regular crystal. I don't know if you can see the difference. I think it doesn't look like you can see the difference. There, now you can. See how wider these are? Yeah. And then you got this really cool bead. I call them barnacle beads, but that's not the, the name of them. If you look up barnacle bead, you actually get barnacles. Bracelet, bracelet, over here. That was a stretch, too. Ooh, here's another ring. God, my fingers are just too fat. This doesn't fit me, either. I need, that's why I like those, uh, stretch rings, because they fit. See how pretty this is? It's kind of like champagne color on the center swervies. Circular, you know, the part that looks like a road with bridges. Yeah, that's champagne colored. But they're, uh, marcasites. I don't know, they look like champagne color. It's actually gold marcasite color. You see the market set? I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to make it too blurry. Yeah, it's pretty. A lot of pretty rings. I got uh, four already. Haha, <laughs> maybe this is the ring jar. Hey! It's a Samantha keychain. I have one that says Tina. See how it's flashing Samantha? It's from San Diego. Oh, sorry. San Diego. Which right here in California where I live. I don't know how to turn that off. I don't want to 
mess up the battery. This is China right there. Oh, made in China. Kitchen, kitchen. I'll put that up with the bell. Ooh, here's a nice. I was gonna say slide charm, but it's not because you can't remove these. So it's a love bracelet with a snap. These ones are usually too small for me. Oh, it's not. Very good. So that fits me. On the small snap, so you still got room for the to make it even smaller for the smaller step snap. I can eat that green on my finger, but if that ever happens to you, just put some clear polish inside the ring, let it dry, and it should be good to go. Nothing worse than having that happen. You're at a party or something, or at a friend's house. And they see that. It's embarrassing. Actually, that's probably going to stop now. Everything's going to be outlawed. Not going to be able to have Halloween. Nothing. These are pretty earrings. They said our way of life is going to change, but I think they're underestimating what's going to happen. These are pretty. There's an orange, darker pink, and a pink. I've never seen any earrings like this before. So these are new to me. And they're on a card. I won't keep them on the card. I bought the, uh, the bigger cards. Oh, here's a ring that might fit. Because it's not attached. <laughs> Yay. It fits. I do have a really big finger. This finger here is at least an 11. This is a 10. Maybe this is a 12 now. I've got my veins bulging. But that's pretty. And it doesn't seem to be missing any stones. Or I mean, they could be missing. I can't really tell if they're dead stones or missing stones. <laughs> but I was going to say it looks like an earring, but that was attached. This is the back of the earring. It's a pretty back. It uh, says something on it. Okay... Are oh Kenneth Cole, New York. It's a Kenneth Cole, New York earring. See, I've never seen that. I've never had a pair of his earrings before. These are really nice earrings too, but it's a Kenneth Cole earring. Let's hope I have the double, the match, whatever. This is cute too. Wait, how does that go? Because I can't. I have to be able to move freely right oh they're both in the same circle so I don't know who who did that it's, it doesn't work oh maybe it's the wrong way it still doesn't lay flat I don't I don't know well there's an earring this feels like plastic I do like the pattern on it though but it is pretty earring it just doesn't lay flat or maybe it's supposed to turn somehow like that no I don't know <laughs> oh that's another earring there's a lot of earrings too and that's pretty as a starfish it's not missing any stones it's or uh, orange yellow the center stone I don't know if you can tell is an aurora borealis stone and the rest are yellow stones I don't know if you can tell the difference on the camera very pretty. Is this two necklaces? No. The clasp is here. That's odd. This is a different color. Unless they did that on purpose or somebody added it. There's no maker mark. So it's like a copperish color. And then you have this stream of gold here. But the copper part turned dark. Excuse me, this didn't turn at all. So, I don't think it's gold, I'm just saying. It didn't turn compared to the rest of it. This is a pretty piece. It's got little emerald cut rhinestones in it. It's only got the one. Necklaces, oh, bonus hair. Actually, it was dark, could have been my hair. <laughs> Here's the other earring like that one. I want to see if it hung different. Nope. Well, on the side, that would look kind of cute. If somebody was standing next to you. Yeah, it's a pretty earring. 
Here's a cute one. Halloween. Need to repaint his eyes. Are these stickers? No. Need to repaint his eyes. Make them triangles like they're supposed to be. <laughs> I think the cute one to try. But I really do think Halloween's going to be outlawed, at least here in California. Because they've already got a law to where you get a ticket if you go outside without a mask. You have to have a mask on. These are pretty. They're post. You would think that they'd be clipped by the look of them. But nope. Post earrings. They look, if they were black and white, they'd be mod. But they just look old, you know. Ooh, stretchy ring. Let me get this one off. And it's an animal. Well, it's an amphibian. A turtle. You know, I love my turtles. I have him facing everybody else. That fits because it's a stretchy. I like that one. And it covers up. I mean, it fills my whole finger, so that's good, too. Mine. Mine. Here is a nice bracelet. Bengal. It's got an inlay. This is like a channel, and it's got an inlay of little beads, like, uh, what is that? The dot bead necklace. That's what that is. Inside the channel. Here's another channel one. Oh, that's not what bracelets go. But it has that hollow chain in it. You see how you can see the lip of it here? You can put anything you want in these blanks. If you buy the blanks, you could put, st I've seen people put stones in there. Everything. This is pretty, too. It's got good texture and color. Here's another ring. It's smaller. That I wish would fit me a ring finger. That is pretty. And this one is in good shape. So I'll probably sell this one. It's got gunmetal color. So I will probably put this. I've been doing sets. Like earring, bracelet, necklace. Ear, I mean earring... Necklace, bracelet, sets. This is cute. Oh, I've seen these flowers on other things. Oh, look, they took twine and they made beads out of them. Is that cool or what? They glued it solid. Well, that one's not a good example. Uh, here, this one, because that one was kind of frayed. And then, I guess these are the ends. That is smart. And then they got little pearls in there. This is really cute. This will make it. This is a nice beach, beachy surfer, a girl surfer necklace. Not a guy surfer necklace. Well, I guess a guy could wear it if they want to. Wouldn't bother me one bit to see this on a guy. Here's just a pendant. It's plastic. I like the colors. The colors are beautiful on there. It's like a turquoise and a marbly turquoise color here. Uh, over there with the... Uh, oh. It's a bracelet stuck inside a bracelet. Two bangles. Uh, one that's... Could be silver, I guess. It looks like it's tarnished. Where's my... I don't have a magnet. Oh, wait. No, I don't have a magnet. I thought I had the magnet bracelet on, but no. So I will test this one. With the magnet. And this is a nice bangle. This one. Turquoise. Doesn't look like dyed halite. Although this is really. Like got white. But. If you look. In, I don't see any color. You know white inside the hole. Which is usually where they miss. Let me see. Let's pick a random one here. Nope. Nope. Dark in there. I'm going to say these are real turquoise. Needs to be redone though, because of that, the way they tied it off. But and because it's probably not gonna. Once you stretch it, if it's this tight, it doesn't go back. It just stays big. See? Now you got loose. So yeah, it has to be redone. But we got some turquoise here. This is wood. This one sprung back, so this is a good one. This is a wood bracelet. It was done kind of tight. It needs to be loosened a little bit more. Because see that it should, shouldn't do that. It should actually look like this. When it's not. Being stretched. Because you want it to like. 
you know, you want it to be a circle or an oval on your wrist. At least that's what I think. Here's two metal, two more metal ones. This one looks like it could be the same as this one, just not tarnished. Wish I had a magnet. And then there's this copper. Well, it's actually gold tone with little sections of lines here. It's a good one. This is a pretty earring. It's got a lot of wear on the back, though. But that might be something that they did on purpose. I've seen that too, that when they do that on purpose, and this is the front, it's missing the earring part. Or a pendant part. I don't, I think, I thought I had an earring like this yesterday from this same, you know, this set, but I can't remember. Hmm. I'll put it with the earrings just in case. Okay, I pour out some more jewelry here. I'm very happy with this. Oh, here's one. It is an earring. With this lot. I was happy with her last one that I bought. So that's why I got some more. Especially, I can't get my jars right now, so. This is just the same to me as getting a jar. Although, with the jar, I. Oh, it came off. The earring wire wasn't closed. Oops, it's not on there right either. I have a tool right here. It's just. Close this off, make it back into a hoop, and voila, there we go. Hit rewind, <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> if you want to see how I did that. <laughs> Actually, it's not done correctly, because it shouldn't, that ball should stay above this. Yeah, like that, pretty. So they are earrings. Okay, boot camp. Fight the good fight of faith. Boot camp 2008. Dog tags, these are actually bigger than actual dog tags. Well, this one is. This one looks smaller. It's a little smaller, but not much. I think it's not supposed to be smaller. It's just like a tash, a dash, a tish, smaller. It looks a lot smaller than that to me, but... Nope. I'll put that with the other stuff over there. Oh, see, I never know if these are... Nexus that somebody put elastic on, or are these for your head? Like a hairband. I have no idea. This needs cleaned. It's in a pretty rough shape, but they're pretty flowers. I've used flowers like this to emboss paper. I told you many times about embossing but yeah you go on the underside but it it works really good and if you haven't seen embossed paper then you're in for a treat oh here's the other earring thing i think it's missing the ball so i'm not going to put it on the, that earring so i'll put this with the necklaces i don't know if it's her necklaces or oh these are my favorite bracelets bracelets the kind that make the jingle jingles Oh, and they got crystals on them. Look at that pretty color of the crystals. I got too many bracelets on right now, though. I'll take this one off. Oh, bracelets go over here. Stretch is good. I don't want to break it. Only half of it stretches. It's a chain on the rest. It's going to break, isn't it? <laughs> good, it didn't break. You know, they have regular chain right here. And then they added to the chain... They, put, they connected the stretch part and then um, added all this. So it only stretches halfway. So that's what I was meant when I said halfway. But it's beautiful. I love these. I have like three of them now. Three different ones. This is copper. They always feel plastic to me. But they're not. Well, it sounds plastic now. Do I have anything glass? Oh, I have a table. But anyway, this is copper. It's softer than the other metals to me. And, you, and plus, you could tell just the look. In the, if, you, if you could feel it, you'd feel the copper of it. I'm not a copper reader or anything. 
This one's actually big for a acrylic ring. So that might actually fit this ring finger. Yep. This is a, at least a 10, which is big for an acrylic ring. But that probably could mean that a man could wear it. It's very pretty. It's blue. I like the acrylic ones because they're see-through, but I didn't like them. But this one I like because it's so thin right here. It actually feels good wearing it. The other ones are so thick on the sides, you know, that your finger doesn't feel comfortable closing. But this one does. Yep, and a lot of beautiful rings. I think this is just a tassel. has something written on it. Looks like some kind of symbol or something. And it's a tassel that would go like this. That is pretty. I don't know what necklace it fell off. Maybe there's a pearl necklace here. Let's see if this would have had a tassel on it, maybe. Or could. Actually, it's kind of long, I don't think. And they're heavy. These are either glass pearls or they're real pearls. They feel good. But they don't match, so I would say no. But this tassel is beautiful. But these are long. And they are hand knotted after each pearl, so that's another indication that they could be real. But why such a long, real one? That would be awesome if they were. A lot of times you could just rub them together to feel the grit. They say to rub them against your teeth, but I have fake teeth. I can't feel anything right now, but they're kind of... They're all different shapes, so I'm going to say they are. They have dents in them, and... Wow, that's long. Let's double it and see. Doubled, it's at least 30 inches, so it's at least 60 inches of... I'm going to say real pearl. Nakia would know. She knows just by touching it, like this. I mean, she could just pick it up like this, and she would know if it's real. I can't tell that way. But I am... A lot of indications says it's real. They're not uniform in size and shape. They have knots in between. They're heavy. But they are beautiful. I never was a pearl person before I started opening jars. But now I see how beautiful they can be. This might be sterling. It needs cleaning, that's for sure. <laughs> but it looks like tarnish. So I'll, I'll test this. I wish I had a magnet again. But oh. But it is a, a beautiful earring, just so you guys can see it better. And it would hang like that. But it needs cleaning at least. Maybe with the cloth. Came off some of it right there, shiny. So that could, it's another indication this could be tarnish. Could just be dirt though. This says Ann Taylor. I've never heard of Ann Taylor. Oh, it's got a lock on it. It's got a safety clasp. Oh, and a magnet. Oh, it's pretty. You guys know who Ann Taylor is? I've heard of Liz Taylor. But I've never heard of an Ann Taylor. But where is it? Right there. You can see her name right there. See? Ann Taylor. And it's got a magnetic closure and a safety class. I'm going to look that up, so I'll set it over there. See who she is? This is one of those ones that roll on. It stretches just a little bit because it's the hollow chain. But this one, you'd roll it on. It's pretty. I like those hollow chains. Always have. This is a stretch. Plat, wait. They're heavy, but they're plastic. They feel plastic. Of course, it's hot out here. But they are heavy. They feel like glass. Except for they're not cold. They're cool. Okay, I'm going to say glass. Let me do the table thing. Yeah, sounds like glass. I have a glass table under here. <laughs> this one sounds like glass. Feels like glass. It's just warm today. Very warm. Ooh, what's this? Motel Martinez? It's a keychain from a motel, I guess. 
How do you put the keys on? Oh, this opens like that. That's cool. And then you put the key on. I wonder if they gave you this with your hotel room key on it. Remember when they used to use real keys? Well, if you're young, you wouldn't, but I do. They used to have real keys, metal keys. Oh, it was upside down, so sorry. This is really heavy. You would not lose it, that's for sure. I like that keychain. Oh, here's a pink. Oh, it's a hair thing. I thought it was something butterfly. <laughs> Looks like an evil thing there, but it's pink. I like pink. And there's Aurora Borealis on the top. Hair clip. It's plastic. I think. Pretty sure it's plastic. This one is not a stretch. Ooh, that's that moon glow. Can you guys see the moon glow part of the bracelet? How it shines? I saw another one in the jar that's purple and black. So it must be just like this one, but purple. This is pink. It does. I don't see it in the camera. But on here, they're glowing like crazy. And it has a barrel clasp. There's a wire sticking out right here. That will have to be cut or something. Or filed down. Because that would poke somebody and give them irritation for sure. I don't know if it's too tightly done. It doesn't look like it's too tightly done, but it's not set in straight either. Ooh, this one's pretty. You got pink cat eye, white cat eye, or a light lilac cat eye, and a bunch of princess like. It's got a castle on there. Oh, wait, this might be a maker mark. Oh, it's Cookie Lee. It's, I'm sure it's for a princess. It's got a castle and a crown. And it's got pink pink and like a light lavender cat eye beads on it. Here's a pair of earrings. I need a drink of my soda. Here's a ring. See if you guys can see those. Let me put this out here, too. I get my drink. These are just like in the way, huh? These bracelets. This is stuff I'm gonna test. And I put the rings in this little container too. Shoot. Get them out of the view of the camera. Earrings won't. Earrings stay up there. These earrings are pretty. They're post, not clip on. But they remind me of the 70s. Or Dynasty Era. That's the show. Did they remake that? I think I saw they remade it. CTR are the initials on this ring. This looks like an artisan made ring. And on the inside it says RM. Say CTR. And then right behind the banner there's an RM in there. Oh, I'm at 31 minutes. 33 minutes. And it... It looks like silver, but it looks artisan made. This looks like a adjustable ring, but it's super tight. I don't think you can adjust that. Well, you could, but you need tools. I never understand. Is the middle name, I mean the last name, the big initial, or is the first name the big initial, center initial? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop here. And I will start up again soon. You guys just go to the next video. That way. Not that way. You'll go back the other way. You don't want to see those. You saw those already. Okay. <laughs> Come back, okay? Bye-bye.